Yeah. I mean, we're already in October for, for those of us who well, no, uh, GMT. And there are some of us who are about to get into October and right now. Some are midday already in October. Some are about getting into October. Some are in the mornings in October. I'm telling you the truth. It is a powerful time. Just be excited that you are alive and still breathing. It's a sign that God loves you. Joy is not an emotion. Joy is a weapon. Joy is not a feeling. Joy is a tool. It's, an emo it's, it's a weapon, not an emotion. It's not an emotion. Just say, oh, I just feel happy. No, it is a weapon you use in fighting and confronting the enemy. Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3 says, With joy shall we draw water from the wells of salvation. Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3. We draw water from the wells of salvation via joy. The Bible says in Philippians 4 and verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. It is a weapon. You fight with a James 1, 2. Say James chapter 1 verse 2. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. For you know that the trial of your faith work at patience. Let patience have an entire work in you. That you may be entire wanting nothing. Verse 3 and verse 4. That's what the Bible says about joy. In Deuteronomy 28 and verse 47. He said, because you have not served the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart and abundance of all things. Verse 48 says, and thou shalt serve thy enemies. That is not your portion. Amen. You will not serve your enemy. Amen. You will not serve your enemy. Amen. You will not serve your enemy. Amen. Amen. All right. We are going to the word of the Lord. Touch the like button if you are just coming for the first time. Wonders Without Number is a ministering angel. It's an end time move of God. Powerful. Where people's spiritual life, it's not just about miracles or testimonies or turn around. We are after the spiritual lives of people, the revival of people. And the best form of revival is revival of prayer and the word. Revival of prayer and scriptures. When your life is on fire via prayer, via the word of God, every other thing will just line up. The lines will fall onto you in place and places. So when you see people now who are testifying, excited. You hear what's going on. People's marriages are restored without any them moving the muscle. Why? There's a revival. It's beyond just miracles. And no, your spiritual life is coming on fire. Under pressure, our eyes are open to see things from the Bible, from the word of the Lord. And as we see those things, we pray them. This is letter. This is letter. This is letter. It's when you pray it, it becomes spirit. It's just letter there. But when you, when you lift it from this paper and you pray it into yourself, it becomes spirit. That's what we do. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Jesus never said the word I spoke. He said the word I speak. Present tense revelation. They are spirit and they are life. Like I said, be joyful. Be joyful. Psalm 34 verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Welcome, 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 welcome. Job 9 verse 10 says, That he doeth things, great things past finding out, yea, wonders without number. So if you are coming for the first time and you are seeing so much scriptures, this is our life. In our wonders without number family, is a family of prayer and the word. So a wonders with that number. If you want to grow in the world, you want to grow in prayers, you want the appetite for scriptures to fall on your life, join wonders with that number. As we begin to pray, we're going to consider some things from the word of the Lord and our lives will just start changing. So right now, wherever you are, share the link to your friends, to your loved ones, to everybody who you believe in. And God is going to be reaching out to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout, my time has come. My time has come. Shout it again. 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 My time has come. And I'm going to be praying. I'm just, I'm just so excited about what God has shown me. I'm going to be praying today and I'm believing God for a great move of the Spirit of God. Amen. Now, there are some things God showed me in the Word of God I'm going to just show us as we begin to pray. But I believe God with you. I'm excited. I'm excited. What God has shown me, the devil is in trouble. Amen. I'm telling you. This month, let God arise. Amen. Every time God rises, something happens. You know, when, when, when Stephen in Acts chapter 7 was being stoned, he said something. He said, I see Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Jesus doesn't stand. Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Sits at the right hand of God, far above principalities 
and powers. But how come Jesus stood? Jesus stood, was coming down in defense of Stephen. But Stephen held his mouth. He kept quiet. He never used his, used his authority. He said, Lord, into the hand that commit my spirit. Oh my God. He was stoned to death. Jesus was on his way down. And the Bible says, that same Jesus stopped Paul as he was entering Damascus. He said, it's hard for you to kick against the bricks. When God rises, things happen. Psalm 68 verse 1 and 2. Psalm 68 verse 1 and 2. Numbers 10 verse 35. Let God arise. Let God arise. But I, I love what Psalm 68 1 and 2 says. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. As smoke is driven away from the wind. He said, let them melt. As wax melt before the fire, so let the wicked melt at the presence of our God. Listen to me today. This month of October, the wicked that have conspired against you, they will melt. Amen. You didn't get that. I said the wicked that have conspired against you, they will melt. Amen. This month of October, I don't care how many they are. I don't care their strength. I don't care their height. I don't care their capacity. As you are basking in God and enjoying the grace of God, the wicked will melt. Amen. I said they will melt. Amen. Amen. You know what David said? David said in Psalm 22 and verse 12, he said, Bulls compassed me. The bulls of Bashan have beset me. Bulls, Psalm 22 and verse 12. The bulls have compassed me. Strong bulls of Bashan. <laughs> you know what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, 32? He said, in Ephesus, I fought with beasts. I fought with the beasts of Ephesus. If after the manner of men, I fought with the beasts of Ephesus. In other words, why would he say after the manner of men? What he was saying is that there are human beings who are beasts. Their heart is the heart of a beast. I have seen them. I, John and Suleiman, I have met them. I have seen them. I have conquered them. Beasts, they have the hearts of animals. These are not people with human hearts. When you see what they do, you are asking yourself, how do these people sleep at night? I've seen them. I've, I've, I've seen them. And God has always given me victory. And I'm speaking to you today. Any human beast, the beast of Ephesus, whatever beast in your life, financial beast, marital beast, that have risen up against you, I decree in the name of Jesus, what they wish to happen to you, will happen to them. Amen. Amen. Right now, I want everyone share this link. This is a serious day. Today is very serious. You will never forget it for the rest of your life. Amen. So right now, like this video and begin to share. If you are watching online, do that. You are watching on YouTube, share. You are watching on Facebook, share. You are watching on Instagram, share. You are watching on TV, make a call and tell someone, is there's a man to pray. There is a God to answer. Psalm chapter 4 verse 1, hear me when I call, O God, my righteousness. In Psalm 65 and verse 2, thou that yearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Prayer is not a gift. Prayer is a discipline. You discipline yourself to pray. In Psalm chapter 6 verse 4, we will give ourselves we will give ourselves to prayer and the ministry of the world. We will give, Acts chapter 6 and verse 4, we will give ourselves to prayer and the ministry of the world. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, the word of the Lord says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knoweth not. In Psalm 55 and verse 15, 16 and 17, he says, Cast your burden upon the Lord, he shall sustain you. He will never suffer the righteous to be moved. As for me, I will call upon God. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray. I will cry aloud. He shall hear my voice. I will cry aloud. He shall hear my voice. It is time to pray. It is time to be addicted to prayer. It is time for you. The reason, listen to me. The Bible says in James 5.13, Is any afflicted, let him pray. Intercession is the cure for affliction. Let him pray. Any afflicted. So if you do not love prayer, you don't need power. If you don't love prayer, you, you can't be entitled to power. Okay? We know spiritual heights of people by their prayer life. Luke 18 verse 1 is making a parable to this end that men ought to pray. Men. So those that pray are men. Your spiritual maturity is known in the place of prayer. The battles you are going through, 
and not much. It is your spiritual stamina. You know, Proverbs 24 verse 10 says, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. It's not your troubles that are much. It's your strength that is small. But I like the message translation of that same scripture. He said, if you fall at everything, it means there was not much to you after all. The message translation of Proverbs. He said, if you fall to pieces in a crisis, there wasn't much to you in the first place. If in... If because of crisis you fall, it means that there wasn't much to you. You will not fall. Amen. You will not fall. Amen. You will not fall. Amen. Those that want you to fall, they will fall in your place. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Master. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here. Turning lives around, I worship you. I worship you. You are ye, opening every door. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, breaking man free, I worship you, I worship you, hey, hey, hey. we make a Miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. At the center of it all It's you that I see It's you that I see Ashala bada bada At the center of it all It's you that I see It's you that I see Power in your name, miracles happen in your name. As we lift our hands to say, It's you that I see, it's you that I see. I 
as I lift my eyes to say, it's you that I see. 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 There is power in your name. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Oh, as I lift my hands. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Alaba, 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 alaba. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. La kosho brakate 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 alada shakada. I love you, Master. In Jesus' name, Amen. we worship. In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. If there is a man to pray, then he go to, to answer. answer. Today is serious. And I'm going to tell you, after we are done with this prayer now, later in the day, a couple of hours from now, I want you to go back to it. Because it's like a series we are going to be doing for a couple of days on a particular scripture. But I'm going to start... I'm, not, I'm taking it in no particular order. I'm not ascending or descending order. But I'll just take it as the Spirit of God leads me. It's in 1 Kings chapter 3. And um, we'll read verse 25, 26, 27, 28. But tomorrow, by the grace of God, I'll read 18, 19 and all of that. But I'm just lead, reading as led by the Spirit. And the king said, divide the living child in two. And give half to the one. And half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king for a boas yearned upon her son. And she said, Oh my Lord, give her the living child and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child and in no wise slay it. For she is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment with the king that judged and the fear the king for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment, to do judgment, to do judgment, to do judgment, to do judgment. Now this is a story about two women. We all know the story, the popular story. They lived in the same house. They were harlots. One, they gave birth at the same time. One slept on a child. A child died before it was morning. He went and... Dropped the baby on, the, on a, uh, a colleague's bed and took the colleague's baby. We all know the story. We know the story. We know the story. But the revelation behind the story is what we are going to be praying on for the next couple of days. The revelation. We are going to be praying on the mysteries behind the story. The Bible says, and then Solomon said, divide the baby. The woman said, no, don't divide the baby. Don't divide the baby. The baby is my baby. Don't divide the baby. Don't divide the baby. This is my child. Don't divide my child. My destiny, my life, my life cannot be divided. Don't divide my life. God is looking for people that will come to his altar today and cry out. People that will say, let God arise. My destiny cannot be divided. My marriage cannot be divided. Amen. My health cannot be divided. Amen. When the devil cannot take that which God has given you, he tries to divide it. There are so many of our oh, In Exodus chapter 10, if you read from verse 24, 25, 26, the Bible says, And Pharaoh said unto Moses, You can go, but let your flock stay behind. You can go, let your head stay behind. 
You want me to release you? You go. Let your little ones stay behind. That is exactly what is happening to a lot of us. Satan say, okay, you can go and serve God, but I'll hold your money. You can go and serve God, but I'll hold your marriage. Hey, my destiny cannot be divided. Amen. You will type that on your handle. Type it now. That my destiny cannot be divided. Amen. You will type it on your handle. You will type it. You will type it right now. My destiny cannot be divided. Amen. Hashtag wonders without number. Type it on Facebook. Type it on Instagram. Type it on YouTube. Type it on WhatsApp. Type it on your WhatsApp story. Let the kingdoms of darkness hear. My destiny, Maninta Gamba Lada Soka Pala, cannot be divided. Yeah, you must say, no, don't divide the baby. Do you know? Do you know Moses said to Pharaoh, he said, no, we are going. Our flocks are going. Our heads are going. I'm prophesying on you that you will rise. Amen. Your health will rise. Amen. Your children will rise. Amen. Your finance will rise. Amen. Your career will rise. Amen. You cannot serve a living God and live a low life. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Redemption is not reduction. How come you are rich spiritually? You are not rich financially. How come you are rich spiritually? And your health is a mess. Your destiny cannot be divided. Amen. Something trying to split. I like what Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 14. He said, whatsoever God does abide there forever. Nothing can be added. Nothing can be taken. It cannot be divided. Ecclesiastes 3, 14. God does that, that man might fear him. No koso we are going to lift our voice in prayer. Type it. We say that seven times. Seven times my destiny cannot be divided. Oh, Rata. Do you know in Matthew chapter 25, if you read from verse 8 to verse 9, when the foolish, the foolish virgins told the wise one, give us some oil. He said, not so. Not so, please. Not so. The foolish one said to the wise, give us out of your oil for our lambs are gone out. Hear what the, the wise said in verse, verse 9. He said, not so. Let there not be enough for us and you. In other words, we are not dividing it. We are not sharing this thing. Hey, there's a fullness of God in your life. There's a fullness of God that God has ordained and promised for you. You are not sharing it. You are not sharing your marriage. Yeah. You are not sharing it. Your marriage cannot be divided. Amen. Your children's full destiny cannot be divided. Amen. You are going to lift your voice and pray. We are going to say seven times and then you will turn down the voice of prayer. My destiny cannot be divided. The devil has no say in this matter. Let God arise. Restore my destiny fully. They turn my life fully. Mm -hmm. You know what the Bible says? It says that they may have life and have it more abundant, abundant, abundant. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Abundant. God has ability to restore your destiny fully. In Job 42 and verse 2, the Bible says, I know that thou canst do all things and nothing can be withholding from thee. God is able to do all things. God is able. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 21, the Bible says, able to subdue all things. Ephesians chapter 7, uh, Hebrews chapter 7 rather, verse 25, the Bible says, God is able, is able to save to the uttermost them that come to God through him, believing that he ever liveth to make intercessions for them. Daniel 3, 17, the three blue boys said to the king, our God is able. Our God is able. Our God is able. Nothing is difficult. Genesis 18, 14, is there anything to add for the Lord? Jeremiah 32, 17 and 27. Jeremiah 32, 17 and 27. Ah, Lord God, thou made the heavens and the earth by thy great power and by thy outstretched arm. Nothing is hard for thee. Verse 27, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? My destiny, when you are praying today, as you are clapping your hands as a sign of victory, and as you are praying with, with passion and with vigor, you are mentioning the specific areas. My academics cannot be divided. Mm -hmm. My career, this, this issue of, of getting blessed this month, and about six months again before a blessing comes, something is trying to split your blessing. That's what the devil wants to do. When the devil, oh my God, when the devil, when the devil saw the blessing of God concerning Isaac, you know what he did? He knew he could not do anything. He manipulated Abraham to go into the house of the king of Egypt. When Abraham got to the house of the king of Egypt, the Bible says, Abraham lied and said, Sarah is my sister. The king would have gone into Sarah and the child would have come forth. 
But God made the king impotent. Satan saw Isaac, so he was trying to corrupt the seed. Split the capacity, split the potency. But Sarah was spared, but Abraham could not escape it. Since they could not get Egypt through Sarah, they got Egypt through Abraham. And Ishmael came. And Ishmael and Isaac were in the same house. When your miracle and your mistake live together, there will always be constant trouble. There will be rivalry between your miracle and your mistake. But when we are praying, we are going to get into all of that revelation. You cannot be a wonders without number family and not be worded. You, you will so love scriptures. You will so passionate about scriptures. Because that's what we do in our ministry. That's what we do in our life. The world. I don't prescribe nothing. I don't, I don't know nothing. All I know is this. And I want you to pray. My marriage cannot be divided. Amen. We're encapsulating it with the word destiny. We're encapsulating it. As you pray, you can call marriage. You can call everything. People ask me, Papa, why is it that you just raise a prayer point, mention one or two in your understanding, and you go into tongues? I say, because in my understanding, when I pray my understanding, I'll be limited. There are some areas I will not touch. But when I pray in the Holy Ghost, He touches even the areas that I don't even know about. So when I'm praying in tongues, I'm touching areas. Areas, 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 areas. I'm touching angles that in my natural understanding, I would not have been able to, to, to touch or decipher. So when we, we start it in, in our understanding, we raise the prayer in understanding, and we go into the Holy Ghost, it begins to go into the spirit realm, into archives, ancient archives. Of things that have been buried, things that have been done that we are not aware. Things that mortality can never reveal. Only immortality can, can bisect. And it goes into that and begins to open files. Begin to command spirits. Begin to cause an alignment. You discover there's a spiritual alignment as we pray in the Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost right where you are, in that country, that nation, as you are watching and hearing the sound of my voice, the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. Amen. The Holy Ghost will fall upon you. Amen. Acts chapter 10, verse 44. It says, and the Holy Ghost fell on them that heard the word. It will fall upon you. Amen. There's a glory this morning. There's a glory here. There's a power here. There's an anointing here. There's a power here. There's a power here. As you begin to you will say this seven times, my destiny cannot be divided. 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 You will say it after the count of two, loud and clear. And as you say, the devils of hell will be shaken. Amen. Amen. Number one. My, my destiny, destiny cannot, cannot be divided. divided. Number two. My destiny cannot be divided. Number three. My destiny cannot be divided. Number four. My destiny cannot be divided. Number five. My destiny cannot be divided. Number six. My father, my father, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. My, destiny my destiny cannot be divided. 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 Shout your voice. My destiny cannot be divided. My destiny cannot be divided. My destiny cannot be divided. Open your mouth and fire prayers. I'm <laughs> 
Stay, we are taking a second prayer now. Maro Kosobaha. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. I'm seeing people right now. God is forcefully bringing them out of the cage. Yes. The power of God is forcefully. I'm seeing cage, cage. God is bringing people out of the cage that the enemy has put them in. Amen. I'm seeing someone, there is something used in the realm of the spirit like a chicken to represent you. They pull the feathers of the chicken and that is why you are feeling so much infirmity around you. Anytime they pull a feather from the chicken, a new sickness. They pull a feather, a new disease. Today, I decree in the name of Jesus, the horses and the rider have been thrown into the sea. Amen. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear the second prayer. This is going to blow your mind. This will shock you. Look at this. In verse 26, Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king, for her bow has yearned upon her son, and she said, Oh my Lord, give her the living child. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Did you get a revelation there? There are people that know they can never get married, so they don't want you to get married. Let it be neither mine nor thine. I have not gotten married. You want to get married? They will fight it. I am not financially blessed. You want to be financially blessed? They will fight it. They want you to suffer what they are suffering. I will not suffer what my enemy suffer. Amen. That's our second prayer. I said, don't miss October. Come. If anybody you know that is not a member of Wonders Without Number family, tell them they have missed too much. Because the revelation from God's word, let God arise. I will not suffer what my enemies suffer. Amen. Amen. There are people who stand against people. Let me shock you. There was somebody who was brought to me who was on the wheelchair. And before I prayed for the man on the wheelchair, I mean from his waist down, he was married on, 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 on his five, five years of marriage and was on the wheelchair. He got married on a Saturday. He got married on a Saturday and became paralyzed on a Sunday. What was this? I, just, I was just interested. I said, let me tell me the story. This is the story. On his wedding day, he got a lot of gifts. And you know, when people give you gifts on your wedding day, they put their name. They seal it up and they attach their name so you know who brought what. He couldn't open his gift on Saturday. On Sunday, he just laid down with his wife. They were opening their gift, opening their gift. They would turn, oh, this person did well. They opened the gift, oh, this person did well. And they, he opened a particular gift. It was strange. So he turned to check the name that was written. What he saw was rest in peace. From his waist down, he felt cold sensation and became numb. From that day, paralyzed. He couldn't walk. Thank God for good women. Not all women will stay with a man who on, this, on Saturday, uh, Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, whatever time it was, but it was on the Sunday the gift was open. Not every woman will stay with a man who from Sunday of the wedding, paralyzed for five years. And she was wheeling him around, believing God for healing. He stood up that day. He started walking. The Lord healed him. But that story broke me. And I don't know why the person did what he did, but that was somebody who was angry. Have you studied John chapter 2? The Bible said Jesus was invited to a wedding and there was no wine. He didn't say they ran out of wine. Somebody hijacked the wine. They did not run out of wine. They could not have run out of wine when Jesus was coming. Somebody stole it. The person was invariably saying, inadvertently saying, I can't get married. You and I don't get married. Even if I can't stop your marriage, I will make sure I fire mockery. I make sure I fire in disappointment. I fire in disgrace. Let it neither be mine nor thine. I have no child, you can't have a child. I have no baby, you can't have a baby. I have no house, you can't have a house. You will not suffer what your enemies suffer. Amen. Wherever you are, there are pastors, pastors who are not called by God. They are angry at the rising and the lifting of other pastors. So they will do everything to fight that man, to confront him. God has blessed a man. You are angry. Must we all be poor? God has decided to smile on a man after years of labor. You don't understand. We see great fathers of faith today. If you want to know what they passed through, you want to know what they passed through? 
You see great men today. All their labor, 1989, 1990, 991. I used to be in charge of God mission. And I would see how Bishop David Oedipa would drive from Kaduna to Benin. After service, he's driving back. By road. Hours. The roads were not this much motorable, motorable. But today, God, I mean, 89, 90, 91, 92, I've been around. Then I would stand close to the man looking at him as a young preacher of the gospel. I was a young preacher of the gospel. I would stand by him and I would just honor the grace of God. And I would hear him tell the bishop, he's driving back. But today, you hear people say, okay, not knowing the labors and their faithfulness. God rewards faithfulness. God does not reward popular opinion. God rewards faithfulness. God does not reward popular opinion. God rewards faithfulness. As you are faithful in that your marriage, faithful in that your business, in your work with God, now you are praying with wonders without number. Nobody is seeing the labor. But when you go out there and the miracles, the manifestations, people are wondering. Psalms of Solomon 8 verse 6, jealousy is as cruel as the grave. He said, let me be neither mine nor thine. You will not suffer what your enemies suffer. Amen. Since, they have, they have, since they have done evil, and they are now reaping the reward of their evil in sickness and disease. They should not drag you. You will never come low to the level of your enemies. Amen. I will not suffer what my enemies suffer. You will thunder it three times, then you will roar in prayer. You will roar in prayer. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. I will not suffer what my enemies suffer. I will, I will not suffer what my enemies suffer. 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 I will not suffer what
Right here you are. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. I lift up the bloodstained banner of Christ over the seeming battles of your life. I lift up the bloodstained banner of Christ over the mountains, the haywire, the haywaters of your life. And I make a decree in the name of Jesus. Your destiny cannot be divided. Amen. Amen. Every word of the Lord spoken over your life shall receive speedy and accelerated fulfillment. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8, it sent a word to Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. Every lifting, every illumination, every prophetic word of God over your life, the blessings and the benefits shall extend to your family. Amen. Amen. Let out to go. There is somebody by the name of Ray. Your name is Ray. Your name is Ray. I see a spirit, a spirit of rise and fall. Your name is Ray. You are surrounded with so much opportunities. But no matter the effort you put, they bounce you back. Today, I decree that the express, the way has been opened for you. Amen. You shall accelerate expressly. Amen. You shall advance speedily. Amen. I see somebody by the name of Bridget Gabriel. Your name is Bridget Gabriel. That is your name, Bridget Gabriel. The Lord is showing me. You are married, but this is a situation. You are married, but you cannot have intercourse with your husband because of anytime you do that, something happens. It is terrible. You are sick for weeks and for months. It's serious. And I'm seeing two other people in the same condition. Anytime your husband touches you, it's like war. But in the dream... You see yourself having sex and you enjoy it. But in the physical, it's like war. So it's almost shaking and t- t- threatening your marriage. Lady, I see deliverance coming upon you right now. Amen. The power of that spirit husband is broken. Amen. Amen. The Lord says it's attending to people's files. Amen. Files in those offices you've been going to. You've been going to those offices and they keep telling you stories. The Lord says I should tell you that by Monday when you get back there, the files would have been treated Amen. and will be favored. Amen. Your destiny cannot be divided. Amen. I see somebody, your name is Moses. You started the building, Moses. From the day you started that building till now, your finances have been stuck. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Dry bones are rising again. Amen. Dry bones are rising again. Amen. Dry bones are rising again. Amen. I see somebody by the name of Ify. The Lord says I should tell you, Ify, 
Has he spoken and will he not do it? He's the God of Hannah. He's the God of Sarah. He's the God of Rebecca. Malabo Shakata Bahande. He said, I should tell you, as you are entering into 2022, that 2022 will not end without a miracle child in your hand. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I see 93 people on their wedding gowns. Amen. I see 93 people on their wedding gowns. Amen. Weddings are released. Amen. I see people on their wedding suits. Amen. Weddings are released. Amen. The Lord says, I should pray for Tari. Pray for Tari. Pray for Tari. Pray for Tari. I hear the sound of God. Mekobo Shada Brahan de Gamasa. Breko to Mahanda Barakasike. Broko so Brahan. This paralysis. The enemy has fired at you. I fired the spirit of paralysis. Physical paralysis. Financial paralysis. Paralysis of the mind. All round paralysis. Today I speak your freedom. Amen. Amen. I decree. I the hand of the Lord touch you. Amen. Amen. I don't know why I'm seeing something. I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's not how to pronounce his name. Anifedo. Anifedo. I don't know what part of the world you're from. Anifedo. 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 The Lord is showing me.